I'm June Colwood. Uh, I was born in Chatham, but that's misleading. I only stayed there a week. I went to Bell River. I was born on June the 2nd, 1924, and for 63 years of my life, I've been a journalist. There is no such thing as perfect happiness. What there is is a period where you are um, kind of on a float, that things are in harmony. I call it homeostasis, where you feel in harmony. And that's happiness. I'll tell you what I'm afraid of, dependency. And I will not let that happen to me. I will not be dependent. I guess of uh, the, the dead, it's a uh, people who lived a principled life that involved making the world a better place. And there have been so many of those, you, can, you, can't, you can't stop. Eleanor Roosevelt, have, uh, in the last century, was one of the people I admired. But, uh, and Jesus was a pretty good guy. Um, and of living people, the people I uh, admire most are the people who take care of uh, one another, who are generous people. I only lie to get out of uh, social the things that I don't want to do. Otherwise, I value honesty very highly. The death of a child, there is nothing worse in the world than to bury your child. And in our family, that happened. After that, nothing can be worse. Babies, oh, without question, best thing. The best thing is babies. They're, they're perfect. They're all there is of God. They're absolutely perfect. And to hold a baby and sing to a baby or watch a toddler, oh, the best. That's the best. One of my favorite sounds is, is an ocean wave. Lake waves don't do it. They're not big enough. An ocean wave, that's, that sound is wonderful. And uh, next to that, Beethoven's ninth, the chorale, of course. <laughs> Ode to joy. What I wish I didn't do is, uh, is have very uh, quick reactions. It has to do with short synapses in the brain, <laughs> and it's something that can't be fixed. But on the other hand, having very short reactions means that I can uh, swim in the ocean, um, I can fly a glider, I can fly a power plane, I can drive a sports car, so it works out. Betrayal. There is nothing that is worse than to betray a friend. Uh, in Dante's circles of hell, the one that's closest to hell is not murder. That's the second ring. It's betrayal. I wish I spoke a lot of languages. I would, uh, I would like to speak Mandarin Chinese. I, I, I speak a little French, but I wish I spoke it fluently. Um, I like Spanish and Italian. Um, yeah, it's languages. I think I have a good enough ear, but I'm getting too old. <laughs> The only thing I ever wanted to do as a child was get married as soon as possible to a man who would love me forever and be faithful and uh, have a lot of babies, just as many babies as I could have, and live in the same house. And I got, I didn't get as many babies as I wanted, but I got everything else. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to answer what challenges me the most, but I never feel particularly <laughs> challenged. I prepare carefully. Um, I don't get into something where I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to make a total fool of myself. I wouldn't take on something that I would flop at. Right where I am. I want to live where I am uh, till I'm gone. Um, my family, when I was a child, moved an awful lot. And my husband and I bought a house 52 years ago. And I never want to leave it. If I were to come back as a person, I'd like to come back as me. And I want to marry the same person. And I want to have those same four children. And I don't want Casey to get killed. And everything then would be perfect. Oh, and I don't want the other son to be paralyzed. Now I got it. I'd like the whole thing over again without the bad notes. I think something that flies or swims, I think that would be it. Because I fly and I swim. There's, uh, I have a tremendous passion for those elements. I like to be in the air and I like to be in the water. So a dolphin would be nice. If I were going to be a bird, I'd want to be the bird that can fly the highest. I guess I'd have to be an eagle. 
My favorite food is chocolate, which is not advisable as a diet, but, uh, but my favorite treat would, be, would, would definitely be chocolate. Oh, it's so good. I think my greatest achievement is that most of the time I don't disappoint myself. Um, I, didn't, I haven't aspired to any of the nice things that have happened to me, and a lot of nice things have happened. Uh, but what I always aspired to was that I wouldn't um, betray myself. Oh, I didn't choose my profession, it chose me. Um, we didn't have much money when I was a teenager and I wasn't going to be able to finish high school and my mother told me that she would appreciate it if I'd go out and get a job. I think I was 16. And the, I had won a contest at high school for writing and the man who presented the prize, his name was Judge Sweet, what a name, appropriate, said, if I can ever help you. So I went t to see him and I said, Judge Sweet, I need a job. And he was part owner of the Brantford Expositor and he said, do you think you're a writer? Do you want to work on the Expositor? And I said, yes. And that was the beginning of everything that happened to me. Lifetime to do. Well, I'm 80 and I have a bit of cancer. So I don't like those long-range things, but I think I think I could get uh, my um, uh, power uh, pilot license. I had one when about 60 years ago, and I got a glider license about five years ago. And now I'd like to go back and fly power planes and get my license. And I think I could get it in a year or two. So I just might do it. Wouldn't that be something? I couldn't be happier. I could not. I don't know except for before Casey was killed, uh, when I felt better. I just, uh, everything is going wonderful. I became 80. Toronto's gonna name a street for me. My family gave me a new sports car. I got an award of some kind and I'm getting thinner because I've got cancer. I couldn't be happier. Everything is turning out perfectly. When you're a child, the religion is full of clarity. Everything is black and white. This is a sin and this isn't a sin. It's very clear. And I've carried that with me. I know very clearly when I have done something that uh, betrays uh, an ethic uh, in, to any degree. So what I, uh, the words I live by is, uh, I guess maybe don't screw up. <laughs>